Hello, my name is Jessica Jimerson, and welcome to Intermediate Tutorials for 3DS Max. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create and use opacity maps. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to create an opacity map, and to do that, I use Photoshop CS5. I already have um, an opacity map created, so I'm just going to open it up. There we go. As you can see here, I just have a regular sign. And to make this an opacity map in 3D Max, notice how I have my sign in colors and I have the background in flat white. Now the next step we need to do to finish off this opacity map is would be to select all the areas of white that we want to be invisible. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Not zoom out. Okay. And I just hold down the shift key and select away. I'll just pause it while I go ahead and do this. Okay, as you can see, I have all the white areas selected. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the background layer and make it a regular layer. Then I'm going to hit delete. So all the areas that were behind the sign are now gone. All white. So what I'm going to do next is double click the layer. In the layer style panel I'm going to click color overlay and I'm going to make the color for the sign white. Now I'm going to make a new layer, drag it to the bottom, Make sure I have black, flat black selected. Then I'm going to get the paint bucket and just fill in the area behind the sign. And then I would save that out as um, street sign 2 because I already have street sign 1 with the colors. So I already have it saved, so I'm going to come back over into 3D Max and apply it. The thing that I would need to do next is to drag out a plane. Um, for my plane properties, I would want the, the um, length for this to be 46, 20.0, and the width to be 16, 24.0. And let's zoom out. And I can turn on the wireframe for this too, just to show you. Um, you see all the um, extra polygons I have? You don't really need any extra polygons. All you need is one for this. Just the one. So it's really a really great way to do some really low poly modeling for things like signs and stuff. So I can turn the shading back on and go into the material editor. Press M for shortcut. And I'll make a new material for this. And I'll go down into the diffused bitmap. And I'm going to open up Street Sign 1. And I'm going to go back up to the parent. And in the opacity section, I'm going to choose bitmap. And I'm going to get Street Sign 2, the black and white image that we just created. Now I'm going to hit apply. Well, actually, you have to go back up to the parent. It's important. And there you have it. You see all the backgrounds in the um, in the plane have disappeared. All that remains is the texture. It's a pretty neat trick to do some quick low poly low poly modeling. Excuse me. As you can see, it's the same on both sides. So um, you have to be careful what you put on here. Usually you don't want to put lettering, but it's great for things like butterflies and there's a lot of uses for it. Um, it's, it becomes even more useful if you really only need to see one side of the, of the um, plane. That way you can put lettering on it like this. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next week.